It's an art project that puts music in anyone's hands. A University of West Florida professor wants to place old pianos all throughout Pensacola. As Channel 3's Anthony Perris shows us, anyone can have a seat and play. This is a hundred year old piano, but you can see she's still got a lot of life left in her. The piano project would like to put these in public places all over town for everyone to enjoy. It's a sound, a tune, an instrument so distinct that piano dealer Bill Dollarhide fell in love with it years ago. We usually find pianos in places like uh, rehearsal halls or in college places or in church places. And the usual rule is, don't play that piano, you have to have permission. But no permission is needed to play a public piano. When Dr. Hetty Salonki at UWF asked if Dollarhide could donate one for the project, he said yes. Now this piano will be painted by UWF art students and then placed in the community. This one will go to Artel Gallery here in downtown Pensacola. The first public piano will be placed at the airport in early March. Organizers are also talking about putting one at Maritime Park. Uh, this probably sounds pretty cool. I do it, but given the propensity people have to damage things, I think it would probably be a waste of money. Everybody is a piano artist, regardless of how little they can play or how much, because the piano is the most universal instrument. I think it'll catch on and more people will get interested in the piano. The goal is to have 10 of these pianos set up throughout Pensacola in the next three years. Reporting in downtown Pensacola, Anthony Perra, Channel 3 News.